Music Foundry, thank you so much for coming out this evening. Really appreciate you being here. Glad to have you. Uh, both Shelly Tackett and Aaron Enderling are just as good a song crafters as I know. And I am so happy they're here tonight. It's going to be a great show. They both have uh, good stories to tell and uh, good songs to sing. And we're going to do a little bit of all of that. Um, if you've never been here before, special welcome to you. Anything in the lobby bar that you would like to bring into the theater is quite okay. We encourage drinking here. Uh, and Uber and Lyft will pick you up right at our front door. You don't have to drink and drive. In fact, your car will be very, very safe right where it is in undeniably beautiful downtown Duluth. And you can leave it there until you sober up and come back and get it for as long as you want to. It'll be fine. Uh, I also need to take this opportunity to say hello to you folks watching the live stream at EOP Live on YouTube. We're glad to have you. Let me bring your attention to that blue bar that's at the top of your chat box that says tip jar. And we'll be thanking you in advance right now for the generosity that we know you're going to show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And you can send a smoke signal out to some of your friends and neighbors and tell them to tune in because it's going to be a fine show. There will be a little intermission. So if you don't have your beers and all set up at your lounger right now, well, you can uh, go at intermission and load up, and then you'll get another opportunity to hear some great songs and stories. Uh, I hope you'll take a flyer with you when you leave about the upcoming shows. Uh, we try to make a promise to you that we won't book anything that sucks. So uh, if you don't know the people that are playing, that's okay. Just give it a whirl and come on down, and you'll hear some good music. And we, we're sort of proud of that. Um, there's also a couple of restrooms in the lobby. They're unisex because there's one toilet per room. Uh, you queue up in front of the bar and wait your turn, or you can all go in together. We don't care. We're not making a statement of any political, religious, or social endeavor. It's just that there's one potty per room. So that's, y'all figure that out. Y'all look, you're a really smart group. So uh, you can, I know you can. Um, and uh, Aaron's going to actually play second, and Shelly's going to play first. So what I would love for you to do right now is sound like you're about a 1,000 people and give a nice welcome to Shelly Tackett.
You can be the crow. You can be the sparrow. The olive branch. Or the arrows. So forsaken. Faith revealer, yeah, you can be the breaker, you can be the healer. About seven weeks ago, I got down to love on my dogs on their dog beds, and uh, they have fancy dog beds, and there's a bumper on the side of that dog bed, and I weeble wobbled on it and caught my full body weight on this knuckle, and this finger bent under and became longer than it ever should be, and I will probably forever have a little bit of a claw going on with that finger. Um, but all to say that, and up right up until two days ago, I couldn't even make a D chord. So, <laughs> so bear with me tonight. I will do my best for you on guitar, but it may not be as intricate as usual. <laughs> Thank you very much. They call it mallet finger. It sounds sounds as dodgy as it is. It also has governed the set list for the evening, so if you came hoping to hear certain songs, it may not show up just because that finger can't quite get there yet, but I hope you like what else shows up. Wrote that last song with a friend of mine named Randall Clay. And now would be as good a time as any. I do this every show where a Randall Clay song shows up in my set list, which is pretty much every time. Uh, I do a toast to Randall. We lost him a few years back. And he shows up in my dreams and gives me grief if I don't toast him in the middle of my show. So, cheers to Randall, everybody. I wrote this next one with, uh, I just told you that I can't hardly make a D chord because we just found out I could do that two days ago. So of course my very, my first four songs are in the key of D. <laughs> You're welcome. I wrote this with my friend Nicole Wett and a fellow named Billy Dawson. That's how you got here, every breath. 
you take on this planet it's easy to take them for granted they'll drift off with the wind and in the end you only get one one trip under the sun a few thousand breaths it's done go out go on to go out open up your eyes welcome to your life Stronger than you think you are Dream wider than the ocean This is your moment Only get one One trip under the sun A few thousand breaths It's done Go out, go on to go out Open up your eyes Welcome to your life Make them remember Only get one, one trip under the sun. Only get one, one trip under the sun. A few thousand breaths, it's done. Go out, go on to go out. Open up your eyes, welcome to your life, your life, your life. new one it, it might go on the next record what do you think yeah. so I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at my set list realizing um, I love that I just sang a song called welcome to your life and I'm gonna follow it with a killing song so <laughs> and now I know what kind of crowd you are this with Randall, who I mentioned earlier, and oh, you know, some other gal named Ashley McBride, whoever that is. She's in Vegas, hanging out, waiting for the ACMs this weekend. Inside me, 
Before I died by his hand, I prayed my true love would find me. Whiskey and wickedness He cursed the Bible and my Sunday best I'm on a child I never met He got blood From my best dress from you should live your life to let's kill them <laughs> and now there's a love song <laughs> one does so very often lead to the other it seems <laughs> some of you are following us on down to Florida Aaron and I are both playing in Port Charlotte, Florida tomorrow, uh, along with Ava Page and Kayla Ray and Sonny Sweeney, and there are some other names in the mix I don't remember. And then on the next day, uh, Shelly Fairchild's playing, and I know my friend Steph Mahan is playing as well. And um, I actually co-wrote this song with Steph and my, my other good friend, uh, my big sister, Lisa Carver, so. Yeah. songs, a little more on the killing side of the world, but <laughs> we keep the hair extra blonde to make me look less menacing. <laughs> um, but I, I don't even know that this is a love song so, so much as it's a sex song. Uh, yeah, I know. But it's my mom's favorite song in my catalog, and that kind of creeps me out, so... <laughs> I watch, like if I lock eyes with somebody in the crowd while I'm singing it and my wife's in the room, like there's a, there's an argument after the show. <laughs> or or I, I lock eyes with somebody in the audience and we make each other uncomfortable because I'm in that part of the song. 
So if you need to quickly avert your eyes, I understand. If I look at my feet for most of this song, now you'll know why. takes my lips on your skin you start to smile and I breathe you in oh stay in my eyes you're killing me good baby you've ruined me for anyone else whisper me Kiss me too deep. It's too late for me. Save yourself. Getting up slow, it's hard to go. We both know that world's right. Um, could I get a little more vocal on the monitor, please, sir? No. <laughs> no, you bet. Please. Shalom's my favorite, and he knows it, so. Check one, two, 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 two. One, two, 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 two. Thank you. Huh. I'm starting to kick around the idea of doing another album. 
Um, I released one last year. It was just a live album, so uh, it appears that didn't count with a lot of people somehow. Um, where do I sing this song? Anyway, this is a, it's a reasonably new song. It's an unrecorded song. Uh, I wrote this with Brandy Clark, and I'm kicking it around, uh, throwing this on the next album. So let me know what you think. I'm, I'm throwing some new songs at you tonight. Um, if you've been watching my Facebook Lives, you have heard them.
Thank you. You like that one. Tell her to record it because we'll both make more money as she does. <laughs> I'm good either way, but I'm just saying. Um, Aaron and I started writing a few years ago, and um, I had to ask her. We have a few songs we both perform. So I'm like, is this in your set list or mine tonight? Same question for tomorrow. Who's playing these songs? So. Uh, I get the good fortune of doing this one tonight. This is our first ever song that we wrote together. And I wandered in, and, and I knew Erin, but I didn't know her well. And, uh, well, hi, girls. <laughs> Hell, I'm late to most of my own shows, so it's good. We're good. <laughs> it's true. Um, anyway, Erin and I sat down for our first write together. We didn't know each other terribly well. So you sort of go into this thing where... You're trying to get to know each other a little bit. And sometimes you find out that you tell more to these people that you sit down and don't know than you do your friends and family. <laughs> but we bonded over our mutual anxiety disorders. <laughs> it turns out an anxiety disorder is something you can find out very quickly about another human being sitting in a room with you. <laughs> And so Aaron said, I went to the Country Music Hall of Fame, and I heard John Prine telling some stories. Yeah, yeah, a big hand for John Prine. And she said, it wasn't that I, I drew from what he said that night. She said, but after he was done talking, he was having these side chats, and uh, she said, I was just kind of lurking behind him, eavesdropping. And... Uh, I heard him say to the person he was talking to, he said, hell, I've known that since my second pair of shoes. And so Erin, being a songwriter, she lodged that back in her brain and typed it into her phone when she got out to her car. So she said, so we should write this song, and it should be about our mutual anxiety disorders. So well, this is getting very interesting already. Um, so then I said, well, if we're going to do that, we should do it as John Priney as we possibly can since we basically stole the title from him. So this is, this is where we got with that. You remember earlier when I told you because of this bum finger I couldn't play a D chord two days ago? And then my first four songs tonight have been, were in the key of D. This is also in the key of D, so. I mean, you're welcome. saw the sun, I started thinking, what if the sun burned out? First drop of rain fell on my face, I was worried I might drown. Them planes up in the air, don't know how they stay up there, so I think I'll keep my feet firm on this ground. Doctors call it anxiety, I call it surviving things somehow so long I'll see you adios amiga don't you worry about me and my old friend the blues honey have been waiting nervous wreck anticipating my deepest darkest scared to death irrational far-fetched self-fulfilling prophecy come true I always knew I'd lose someone like you since my second pair of shoes. On Valentine's Day, second grade, I broke out in a rash and hives. Them little candy hearts that said be mine 
just made me want to cry now perhaps that sounds illogical but it's probably probable you could prognosticate the problems in my life from that grade school situation when i learned love was a candy coated line so long i'll see you adios omega don't you worry about me and my old friend The stark is scared to death Irrational, far-fetched Self-fulfilling prophecy come true Always knew I'd lose someone like you Since my second pair of shoes are made for walking Hearts are bound to break We all gotta pay our taxes And we're all gonna die someday So long, I'll see ya out of your spring. Don't you worry about me and my old friend, the blues. Honey, I've been waiting, nervous, wreck, anticipating. My deepest, darkest, scared to death. Irrational, far fetched, self fulfilling prophecy come true. Always knew I'd lose someone like you. And the one's about to drop real soon My second pair of shoes Thank you. I was so proud of myself for getting probably prognosticated into a song. And I've been kicking myself ever since because it's really hard to sing and it makes me winded, so. I'm gonna do another one I wrote with Aaron. I'll be with you in a minute. First of all, this is my first venue show in a year. Thank you for showing up. Um, hearing reverb makes me want to cry a little, to be honest with you. So I did the finger problem thing seven-ish weeks ago and was told by the orthopedic guy that I couldn't play guitar for at least six weeks. Just can't do it. Sorry, you can't do it. The finger won't heal. If you don't listen to me, you won't be able to, be able to continue playing guitar. So I had to not play guitar for six weeks, and I learned to play guitar around the age of 10. And let me tell you, since the age of 10, I had never gone six weeks without playing my guitar. And my brain went a little sideways on me. So, this song is all about that. There's a 10-year-old girl in a bedroom somewhere, quiet and shy, who wouldn't dare raise her voice to the noise, to the boys. Just a couple chords She's learning to play And who knows She might change the world someday With a song that's gonna come from her heart Thank God for guitars When you've never felt this way When you don't know what to say well, that old set of six strings has got it down to an art When things have fallen into place, falling apart Thank God for guitars He's so 
serve two doors in Afghanistan saw unspeakable things came back a different man and nothing drowned out the sounds in his head and tearing through the solo hotel california lost in the music instantly transported away from the pain and the dark Thank God for guitars When you've never felt this way When you don't know what to say That old set of six strings has got it down to an art When things are falling into place or falling apart Thank God for guitars Have fallen into place of falling apart. Thank God for guitars. There's a ten year old girl in a bedroom somewhere, quiet and shy. Wouldn't dare raise her voice to the noise or to the boy. I can record it, but damn if I have to continue singing it live, it's going to be a mess every time. Technology is supposed to make our lives easier. I wrote this with a fellow named Rob Wolf and Lisa Carver. It's on my Buckeye CD. I'm just 
again, if that's cool with you. <laughs> you don't know the difference. I wrote this with Nicole Witt as well. I don't think I've ever actually sang this live before. If it goes sideways, I'll try and redeem myself later. Don't worry, I am in fact a professional. Flies. We laid a blanket in a clover meadow line by a grove of cedar trees where you kissed me neath the copper kettle sky. We were running wide open, gunning for the edge, breaking in freedom, swearing no regrets. Ha la 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 la. Living for the moment, giving the love, fire in the night, couldn't get enough. I'd lose myself to. Chasing hallelujah. Head for Turner's Field, circle up the trucks, dance in the haze of the headlights. Under the southern stars, we laid up our Dixie cups to sing your year and moonshine. Wide open, gunning for the edge, breaking in freedom, swearing no regrets. La 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 la. Living for the moment, giving in the love. Fire in the night, couldn't get enough. Lose myself to you. Ha, ha, ha. Jason. Stars burn fast. Summer love don't last. Life won't ever be like that. Again, we were running wide open, gunning for the edge, breaking into freedom, swearing no regrets. Ha la 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 la. Never for a moment given in the love. Fire in the night, couldn't get enough I'd lose myself to you I, I am Jason for this song tonight, so I will do it, even though. <laughs> Let there be a listen to all songwriters. Don't write all your songs in the same key. In case you bust a finger someday. <laughs> this is for Christy.
Mr. DJ, it's me again. Looks like it's gonna be another sleepless night. You must be tired of the same old request, but could you please play the one I like? Thank you very much. This is another fairly new one, and um, this might be the anchor for the next album. I also wrote this with Nicole Witt. This goes out to all the mamas out there.
That girl was born hell on wheels, burning down a dirt road, draining wheels where the pigtails fly. Fist in the air, mouth of back talk, hit the ground running before she could walk, had something to prove. Nothing to lose Breathe, mama One breath at a time One test at a time You see, mama You can't steal the fire From a firefly She's free Just like you want her to be Mama Hot pink hair, purple lipstick, glove compartment filled with parking tickets, too many to count. Smart as a whip, won't take no lip from silly boys that don't know shit. But then again, at 16, you know she knows everything. Breathe. Breath at a time, one test at a time You see, mama You can't steal the fire from a firefly She's free, just like you want her to be Mama But the world's gonna be what the world's gonna be no, she's gonna have to learn that for herself And you know damn well You can't step in, you can't stop time Got your stubborn and her daddy's eyes. She's free, just like you want her to be. Free, just like you taught her to be. So breathe. Mom. time for one more and um, <clears throat> Shelly Taggart is a very serious singer-songwriter sometimes her alter ego shows up and ordinarily there's ball cap on stage for me to put on backwards for this very moment but alas she's a bit of a slacker and forgot the ball cap tonight <laughs> we just call her Tack she sings songs like this but she'd also like to dedicate to Vladimir Putin. <laughs> up at the pump of the Exxon one day when some guy in cuff jeans and an excessive wallet chain flicked his lit cigarette and he ashed right on my boot. I said, dude, are you familiar with gasoline and its potent immense flammability? He just looked square at me, cocked his head, and he said, I hate people, stupid people, those kinds of people. They really get my go, but I like the Dolly Lump, and I like the Dolly Part. But if we're being honest, I like dogs the most. Well, I hopped in my Jeep and I headed east, 
when a Volkswagen Beetle she pulled up next to me, covered bumper to bumper with bumper stickers about saving the earth. I thought, surely that flower child's gonna let me merge. Turns out that stereotype's just plumb absurd, cause that peace loving hippie, she hung off the flame and the bird. I hate people, stupid people, those kinds of people. They really get my goal, but I like the Dolly Mom, and I like the Dolly Park. And if we're being honest, I like dogs the most. Nelson Mandela. But folks, I gotta tell you, you got a really sweet kitty cat, but she knocks shit off my table all the time, so I still like dogs the most. Thank y'all very much. Thank you for showing up for live music tonight. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome please Eric and Berlin. J. 
Georgia pines, true love is the forever kind. Please come to Boston, was playing on the radio. I thought, what the hell? It's the same old story, and there are. Good evening, everybody. I'm Erin Enderlin. And I'm sure glad to be able to be seeing all your smiling faces today. I'm gonna sing you a song off my Faulkner County album. It's a love song, uh, but it's not a first love song. Or a second love song. It's maybe more of a 10th or 11th, 15th or 27th shot in it. Head pulled down, eyes on the floor. Every night you come back for more. Makers all night chase it with a lucky stride. I can be your whiskey, I can be your cigarette, I can drown that memory that you're trying to forget. If your loving cup 
couple years have been weird. Ah, yeah. But one thing I really gravitated towards during that time was going back and playing the songs that made me fall in love with music. Taught myself enough how to record on my computer to do some uh, guitar and vocals of some of my favorite songs. And um, Every time I'd play them, I just fell in love with them all over again. There's nothing like a great storyteller, and it doesn't get much better than Chris Christopherson. <laughs> Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train. Feeling about as faded as my jeans. Bobby thumbed the diesel down. Just before we rain Drove us all the way in New Orleans I pulled my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana I was blowing soft while Bobby sang the moon Windshield wipers slapping time Bobby clapping hands were fine to sing Every song that I drive Oh, 
I'd trade all my tomorrows for one single yesterday. Holding Bobby's body close to mine. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Oh, nothing. Well, that's all that Bobby left me. Feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues. Feeling good was good enough for me. Good enough for me and my Bobby McGee. Da da da. I got an email about a year ago, and uh, I opened it up, and Roseanne Cash had sent me a message saying, well, I got a hold of one of your records, and uh, I really liked it. I hope you don't mind, but I sent it to my friend Elton. And uh, yeah, and I emailed her back, and I was like, first of all, you're Roseanne Cash. Yeah. I mean, let's just put that out there, okay? Yeah. Second of all, you didn't mean Elton John, did you? And she goes, yeah, and uh, he really likes it. I think he wants to interview you for his podcast. So if you listen to episode number 261 of Elton John's Rocket Hour, it's titled Aaron Enderlin. Yeah. It's pretty amazing, and also it's a very convenient way to find out how to spell my name. I used to live in L.A. Right by I stayed out all night and drank whiskey like wine and lied about my age. Yeah, I was working till four at the old Troubadour. It's pink sunglasses on like a young Elton John in the cocaine boys. I was a sideshow. So famous Called from the day I was born Blessed with a sick kind of strangeness I wore like a cheap crown of thorns And every day was an endless parade For the queen of Marina Del Rey I used to sleep all damn day In a trailer by the bay I was running from ghosts Half lit and half broke Holding court for the strings And late Tuesday nights oh, I'd play open mind One time and cash I walked up to my hat and she threw in five I was a sideshow so famous come from the day I was born blessed with the sick kind of strangeness I wore like a cheap crown of thorns and every day was an endless parade for the queen of Marina Del Rey. I saw Mary Jane and Jesus myself when I needed, though you wouldn't believe it. Look at me now. Sometimes a flashback to a sleeping bag and a hatchback. A young twenty-something who didn't know nothing except how to live fast. It was a fake. 
plastic glitter cache. But for a moment, they all knew my name. And every day was an endless parade for the Queen of Marina del Rey. This next song is a really special one to me. I was um, privileged to work with a group of girls in high school and college in a peer counseling kind of organization. And um, I heard so many of their stories and I just was blown away by how much they'd been through in their short lives and um, how gracefully they handled it. and. Uh, the love that they put out into the world. This is for them. He was a bastard Even though he knew his dad Even had his daddy's angry eyes Brown as the whiskey That ran through both their veins I turned 18 name I was a young girl raised up being alone he was the first boy to look my way my ticket out might have took me straight to hell but I take some of that blame and I shoulder it myself I saw in me a broken limb from a crooked family tree. When you got that kind of history, it's hard to break free. When broken's all you know, it's all that you know how. sons and daughters often grow up just as hard we had a baby and oh I loved him dear so I saw clearly the choice that must be made and I hope that family holds him like I could it was the old So I wouldn't have to see in him what I see in me. A broken limb from a crooked family tree. When you got that kind of history, it's hard to break free. When broken's all you know, it's all that you know how to be. When broken's all you know, it's all that you know how to be.
truck stops off the highway where the waitress wears a smile case you haven't seen one at home in quite a while it all comes down to whatever gets you through the night Hotel room with the curtains drawn. You like the conversation, so you leave the TV on. Read the Bible on the nightstand. You're looking for a little light. Kill a couple beers if that doesn't work. I was playing in Kansas a few years ago, and uh, super hot. I saw this woman walking around, and uh, she had it figured out. She had uh, her sunglasses on and a nice, tall adult beverage, and a shirt that said, "I'd rather be somebody's shot of whiskey than everybody's cup of tea." And I thought to myself, "That's a sentiment I can get behind."
Some are gonna see the bride You can't make everybody happy But that's alright by me As long as my baby loves me All the way from A to Z I'd rather be somebody's shot of whiskey Than everybody's cup of tea Thank y'all. This is my latest single, and it's a love song. Don't have a lot of those, but it seemed, seemed like time for another one.
Well, I'm an introvert, so I chose a career where I get to stand up in front of a whole bunch of people. Um. <laughs> but I found music really young, and I found that music um, was a great way to connect with people. It automatically gave me something to share, something in common, something to talk about. And I've uh, been really lucky that it's taken me a lot of incredible places. Um, it's pretty wild uh, to think about it girl from Arkansas. I've um, gotten to play a lot of great shows. I've opened shows for Willie Nelson. I've got to play the Grand Ole Opry, which is my biggest dream, 17 times now. Thank you. And um, two years ago now, the Hall of Fame called and said, uh, we need your boots. And I said, what? <laughs> and they said, well, we're doing this exhibit uh, called American Currents Exhibit, and we want to feature a couple of new artists, and we would like to feature you with one of your heroes, and we were thinking we'd put you in there with Reba McIntyre, uh, which was really incredible. I'm, I've been blessed to have songs recorded by heroes of mine, and Reba is one of those. Uh, she cut a song of mine called The Bar's Getting Lower. I'm not going to play it for you. I just wanted to tell you that. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Um, and it was just incredible. I, when I moved to town, um, I volunteered as a tour guide. I'm a huge country music history nerd. So I volunteered as a tour guide and got to take kids around and show them all the exhibits and being able to walk through those same hallways and see my boots there was pretty amazing. Thank you. And I love my boots. They've always been there for me. So I wrote them a love song. Well, these boots look a little rough. They've seen better days. Hole in the soul and the side stitch in his frame. These boots are just like me. Stubborn as an old oak tree. Heels dug in and roots run deep come sunshine. Oh, the rain. I picked him up in Colorado when I played the rodeo. Push a pedal to the metal down this long and winding road. If you want to get to know someone, walk a mile in their shoes. My heart ain't on my sleeve, it's right here. Kicked out by the door So they don't track in mud Don't stay there long though. I guess traveling's in my blood and These boots have tapped along As I watch some heroes sing my songs Every time I put them on They fit me like a glove I finally got to where I'm standing on Stage. I walk the streets in Bakersfield where Bud and Haggard play. If you want to get to know someone, walk a mile in their shoes. My heart ain't on my sleeve, it's right here in these boots. Thank you. 
Well, this next song is off my Whiskey Town Crier album. <clears throat> I wrote it with Heather Little, whom I dearly love. And I had just met her. We've been writing all day already, and we went over to uh, Carnival to write a song, and they put us in a storage closet. Um, I guess that was what was going on on Music Row the, <laughs> at that point in time. Uh, and uh, we just, I was just like, can we just write a song that we want to write that we just love and not care about? what anybody else thinks about it. And she was like, yes. And I was like, let's write a song about cowboys. So we did. And um, I always like to preface this song with the fact that uh, I know that not all cowboys are assholes. <laughs> Just the ones I've dated. <laughs> Sitting by my bed when I woke up I love you written on a note Beside my favorite cup His boots weren't in the kitchen And his old hat was missing from the door I sank down in that empty chair I've been here so many times before Ain't it just like a cowboy To see inside your heart Say all those pretty things Start pulling all your strings Till you're tangled in Ride up on that white horse Like he's there to save the day But ain't it just like a cowboy To ride away He's probably gone to Tucson Or Abilene or somewhere Something in those motel rooms you just can't find with me. And here's a part where drinking is easier than thinking about what he's doing tonight. He's holding her like he held me. God, I should know better than. Ain't it just like a cowboy to see inside your heart? Say all those pretty things, start pulling all your strings till you're tangled in the dark. You'll ride. Just like a cowboy to ride away. Ain't it just like a cowboy? Ain't it just like a cowboy? Thank you. Well, I <clears throat> got lucky in the songwriting world recently. And uh, Gene Watson cut three of songs of mine for his new record. <laughs> I absolutely love Gene's voice, and he always picked just the greatest songs, too, so it's a huge compliment. I mean, for somebody like that, it's always is, but 
I don't know, I feel like it's extra special coming from him. And I put a song on my Faulkner County album that I, I mentioned him in. And uh, the video was playing on CMT and his uh, daughter saw it and recorded it for him and played it for him. And he really dug it. So I got invited to come out and meet him at um, Larry's Country Diner. They were, they were filming an episode of it. And uh, I was sitting there talking with him and we just got on talking about George Jones and he was telling me all these great stories about opening for him and all these uh, just great little vignettes of, of the road life. Um, and then I got to play that song for him at the Ryman uh, when I debuted that record, which was pretty special. So I'm just telling you random stories now about how much I love Gene Watson. Uh, but hopefully we'll all get to hear him sing this song pretty soon. It's shockingly a song about heartbreak, alcohol, and bar rooms. Well, I put out a new EP recently called Barroom Mirrors. And it's a kind of an imagining of going to a bar on any given night and there are people in there and they're all drinking for different reasons. Or maybe not drinking for different reasons. Um, but I did it uh, kind of remotely during the strange times. Uh, and it was really fun to get to do that and um, just get lost in something creative and fun. And uh, been writing a bunch with one of my heroes the last couple of years, Terry Clark. And um, she's just awesome, right? Triple threat, maybe quadruple threat, I don't know. 
Um, she cooks a mean chili, but she wasn't on the road, so I was like, hey, uh, are you busy today? Uh, you know, one of those terrible things that friends ask you. I was like, do you want to come sing on this song with me? <laughs> and she did. And here she is. No, I'm kidding. But I'm going to sing it for you anyway, and if you want to hear the other version, you can uh, hear it on the record. If there weren't so many songs about a jukebox Well, I'd sing a new song most every day No one is about you leaving Oh, the melodies, they come freely If there weren't so many songs about a jukebox And if there weren't so many songs About the million ways I could drink you off of my mind No barmaid would know my name I'd find better ways to kill the pain If there weren't so many songs about a bottle Oh, but everything's been said about The ways my heart's breaking On guitar my buddies and one of the most talented people I've ever met, Kayla Ray, let me come in and join her on that song. she got the golden pen and the cutest little dog you've ever seen. This one's off the new record, too. Like dark whiskey cuts through eyes Like a train whistle cuts right through a delta night Like a heart Baby, you cut through me 
Like wild roses take on graveyards back Like the levees in New Orleans gave when the water came on fast The way eyes of blue appears right through an old black and white memory Baby, you cut through If I was made of solid stone, I wouldn't be that way for long. Cause baby, you cut through me. Baby, you cut through me. Here I am at your mercy again No chance at all Like a candle in the wind Why try to hide this weakness Like it's something you can't see If I was made of solid stone, I wouldn't be that way for long. Cause baby, you cut through me. Baby, you cut through me. Like dark whiskey cuts through eyes. Like a train whistle cuts right through a delta night. Thank you. I think I'll uh, close out the show tonight with a song I wrote for Luke Bryan. Um, thank you. Um, I want to thank you all so much for coming out and, and hanging out with us and uh, my buddy Shelly Tackett for playing tonight with me. <laughs> Burned it down. Um, sure feels good to be standing here and singing for you. Little Gibson, come on. He asked me for a dollar, said go get a job. I turned up my collar, started walking on. Said I don't blame you I know what you think I just spend your money Buy another drink You don't know Jack Double shot 80 proof On the rocks You've lost it all You can't go back To your life And your kids And your ex-wife With just a telephone if you think it's just a bottle and that old brown paper sack, you don't know Jack. Well, he 
showed me a picture of two little girls wearing Easter dresses, hair done up in curls. He said, God bless their mama. She said I couldn't stay. Honey, if you're wondering, I could throw it all away. You don't know, Jack, double shot. Thank you all so much. I'm Erin Enderlin. Come see us at the merch table. <laughs> <laughs>